o te valau mo fa lo alo malo ta to wa fia te ta to tu lai fatas ao mon moni mai sa sunga ti akono ya filipo ilu manei fa mon mo le lava ilu wava mo lo fa lo alo Mole la to umala volo yaya ta to ie fia tu ina mai rumanei il sao le sunga ti akono ta sanga tu fa mol mole pe fayona fa solo mai tu ol ta to mal mal la to umala volo yai fa mo moe ya mai auto fai teu ya mai ie fayona ta la ao tu tu ol ta to mal mal we fa nga solo mai yai fa mol mole le apa lava mal fa lo alo
We are too long of us. Thai, please be seated. Good evening, all. My name is Isaleli Saluni Manavahetau, and uh, Filippo is my first cousin on uh, his mother's side. I'd just like to, to pay you a warm welcome on behalf of uh, Auntie Mele and the kids and the grandkids for coming here tonight to, uh, for the funeral service of Filippo to pay your respects and show your love and condolences. And we thank you all for making the time and effort to come here tonight. Thank you. Um, also, I am part Tongan as well as part Samoan. And in our culture, uh, in the Tongan culture, we have what you call a fahu, uh, who is uh, held with high respect, and it's normally from the, uh, one of the, the sisters' side. So tonight the fahu is uh, uh, represented by um, one of uh, my sister, Alisi Makisi, so I'd just like to call her up uh, to come up uh, to be the fahu uh, in the absence of uh, my auntie, who has not yet arrived from uh, Auckland. Malo a pito e mo me a mai boni ke ta kau family fa katonga ko to pe malo a pito ke mo ha o ke ta lo tu mo mo ta u fa kataha mo mo Filipo mo family boni malo a pito thank you very much. Maratu la veia ya lo leo e fai ma fonga o ai nga lua batu ai le ao ma lo sio le tu le nei va nga le fiaf le ala tai mai pa ia le kalesia u ni tone samoa kalesia i kosena pa felo ia tu ia ong na tofi le tu ai so si fata fai tau langa ma u tau fale tu le nga tai le fa felo ia tu pa anga wo mai ma san le nga tai le pa u lulunga mtanga luenga sa fai nga luenga ile sunga tia kono ya filipo pule ma to te batuai le fata lofa ma le fa feloi fa fetai le afifio ma su mai fa felo ya tu ile fal tu ya mele Lenga tai lea, pa filo ia tu le faltua ia Vanessa. Alo ma fa nau or sunga te akono ia Filipo, le pa ia lasi lasi o a inga nga lua. Fa fitai, le ta wasa ma mau mai, ia wa lava le fa moe moe or si sunga te akono. Sa uninga mo mua fa le a inga, le a ua tato potu potu ai tutono lo na malu malu pa ia ili nei a fiafi. Oleh tetalo, ia yai le angali leyo le tua, fanga solo, ia porkalambo le nei afiafi. Tato tetalo i nei amanuia, me umalava, ola tato falong longo ia yo vi inga, ia fo ia iper vi inga, male fafi tayo lo tato tua, fafi lo ia tu, ila tato wa fia le nei afiafi. Ai puno no mayo to wau, ola ufaya le tato tetalo. No mato te malo so i fuwe le langi. Vi ia, ma vi ia la o fio e fawawau. Au mato poto poto i tutono lo umalu malu. Ma tau te le i fua fua ina. E mori mau ina, le so i fua. O la u auna le te akono i a Filippo Pule. Fa fe tai le anga le leio la o fio. O ma fai o na tai tai mai, fai ngā malanga i mai le fia. Le ngata o a inga, uo mai masan, au le tapo inga e kare si e lua. Matou fafitai ai la o fio o no mesi sili o lo e faia pea mo i matou. Matou tetalo te ma o matou le i amataina, le nei sau ninga fale ai. Matou wafe atu, i la o fio i nei e iai le fa manu ianga la o fio. 
talufa pito ya ufa mafan fananga fa mulmole tama ina ia fa mafan fanai ili tina ya mele uso matua fa fini faltua ya vanessa ngata ile walo mafanau orsisungu alti akono ya filip ngata ile le kale si pele sungu alti akono wellington samoa Matu tutalo ila ufio fa atasi mai oe Se yo na matu fa iwina Ae fo ia ila vi inga ila ufio e fa vavau Fa vavau lava Amen For those who don't know me, my name is Francis, 
I have been told I am the most handsome sibling of the Pule family. But after Phil. That's what my wife tells me anyway. But it is a great honour and privilege that we can come together. And for those who know Phil, I use the word kiss. Keep it sweet and simple, not sweet and sour. And so we have broken up our, our moli mau time where we're going to have um, a section for our pule family. Then we're going to have a section um, from our saluni and also a section from family and friends. But somewhere in there, we also have a section for um, Phil's partner, Nessa, and so's family. And so um, at this point of time, I'm going to invite our Pule family. Um, I'm not going to go family by family, but there are some rules. And these rules are, number one, kiss. Keep it sweet and simple. Number two, you only have two minutes. <laughs> and number three, if you, uh, if you have a song, you are more than welcome to sing that song. I'm not going to throw you out of the church. And last but not least, if you hear like the same thing, if somebody's already said something, you don't have to go back and repeat that. We get it, okay? So if you're sitting there and somebody has already mentioned, oh, they took my, you know, come from another angle. And so that we can get a, a nice uh, uh, collection of perspectives as we celebrate Phil's life. And so I'm going to invite this time, um, maybe I'm going to invite um, Uncle Tuwala. You come on up. Come. Yes. And Auntie Ophira, if you are here, you know, we'll start with our, our Kuma tours who are present. I didn't get a hold of Uncle Tuwala. I think he was doing an Uber, Uber drop off at the airport. <laughs> so he didn't uh, check his messages. So, Uncle, come on up. And uh, if you would like to, um, uncle and auntie, come on, we don't have time. And um, so, but if you would like to, if our family members, because I know we have family members who have traveled from Auckland, from Australia, um, locally, but also Christchurch, um, if you would like to share something, then just come in, maybe I'm going to make a, a spare seat here so that we can just keep it rolling, okay? But for now, I'm going to give it up to our uncle Tawala. Thank you. to call my father up, because it's in Taylor, or in Stevens Lane. Ja, da läuft auf vielen Rechte auf jetzt. Oh, lau mo a o o wa apule, chua la wa apule. O a o le anko Filippo le chule o pule. Ai se fai sin lau mo maue fa chua le le suna chia kon le Filippo. Se o Filippo e o se tangata e e pele e tia o na e o io le nefiu le le ma te ma futa e nei Wellington e e i a le me la o mo me a Filippo a fa pe a o te la tu le fa le o me le ma ma pule o e Filippo o na o sa fa le e o fa tu e Filippo. Alu e fai mai sa ui puki, a fai mai Filippo e te au. Anko, ngai e i o wae mau lima e ke alua i kua le om kuka e fai sa ui puki, a fa pela e se, e koe fo i lau Filippo e le, o ke koe lu e se a malfale, e le fai e Filippo sa ui puki, ka aua ke le lai e ke alu mea ngā Filippo ua mo maa sangi e, a aua alua lau ke la koa la ufa a sa ui kua fai la ui puki, Ona elo o i a i o fera o lo o elo elo malos 
I fire low, if I ma Fong Kamul Molima, woman's coughing hair of Fila Ma Toti Molik choice of Tai Tele Lava Yang Lua Machiri Lim Maftanga Venisa Ma Filippo, yeah Nisa, yeah, local. I Pauna se upum faina o sao fa pele sa mul mau ka sengiang fa pe fa ye mul mau a le wo a fa fa i i va la wa tu ya o pule femi ta o cousins and uncles and aunties please come forward for yeah Everybody come. <coughs> From Christchurch and Auckland, everywhere. Uh, Australia. <laughs> Before I'll, <laughs> I'll sing it myself. <laughs> okay. Um, hello. I, um, this is my brother Stevenson. We are children of Tualava'a and Lapua Marie Pule. Um, we just want to acknowledge our youngest brother who wasn't able to be here, but he's watching at home on the live stream. Um, he had a special bond with Phil out of us three. Um, recently we learned a story as he's been sharing funny stories about him and Lipo. He said that there was one time at a family gathering, Uncle Fatsavalo bought some luau and um, the luau didn't make it to the table. so. We asked where did the little owl go, and Taylor panicked and said that Lipo ate it all, but we realized that him and Taylor had ate it in the background and hid it from everyone else. So um, those are just the stories that we cherish and that we're really proud to be part of the Wellington Pule's First Cousins crew. There weren't many of us here. It's just um, us and Charlene, Lipo, and Mals. So um, you'll be really missed from that group. And um, we were really proud to be invited to his wedding that was upcoming Sorry. and that was Sorry. one of our last conversations with him so this is for you Lipo, we love you. Tahalo for lover family, God is good all the time. Okay, I am, my name is Eveline, my dad's name is Malanga Oke, he's the eldest of um, Bulevaa and Lungula so I'm first cousins with Philip. So I'm representing all the Pule cousins here today. So I will speak on their behalf. Short and sweet, I have three um, memories of Philip. So me and my older sister, Sawita used to travel down and see our aunties. Okay, two minutes. Okay, to see our aunties. So my first memory of Filippo, we came and Uncle Tafa said, Filippo ma evelinge, oe whaika koko laisa. So me and Phil, when I got our Auntie Mele's pot, we half a water, go umma ya kongule alaisa, mare koko a koa, maolo ma eva. Then Auntie said, wale afangi le koko alaisa. We came back, go say, umma for koko alaisa, wale koko alaisa, ay alaisa malo. Yang fa asala le umma umma ant, umma ua, e ay le le imna ma koko alaisa, say umma ay sang, ay sme ay. Second memory, when Phil and the kids moved over to Brisbane, they lived just not far from us. So he came and spent a lot of time when dad was there. Um, and he used to come and pick up the kids and drop them off to school. So we spent a bit of time with Phil when he came up to Brisbane. My last memory, Phil is such a blind bat. When he stands on the side and you call him out, Flipo, he'll like squint his eyes until you get there. It's like, hey, then you'll hug and you know that infectious smile. Yes, one second. Now, Phil, as you can see, there's heaps of blind mice behind me from our family, so you're not the only blind mice. <clears throat> Last but not least, um, you know, Vanessa, we want to acknowledge you and thank you. We know Phil had his problems, but in our hearts, we love Phil, and we thank you for making him happy before he rested. Thank you for loving him, and it makes us, gives us peace of mind that he was happy before he rested. <clears throat> Filippo, rest in peace. Manuia la malolonga. See you in that beautiful morning with all our loved ones. Ola fai umatumun mau il matupesi fafzai. Yes.
God has a plan, though it's hard to see it now. You feel you're walking all alone, but he is there, no doubt. When the storm around you rages, and you're tossed to and fro, when you're faced with life's decisions, not sure which way to go, stand still and let God move. Standing still, it's hard to do. When you feel you can't reach the end, He'll make a way for you. Stand still. Thank you so much to our Pule family for just sharing the love through, um, through testimony as well as song. Um, we have been blessed that uh, some of our cousins who were not able to make it, and I want to acknowledge our family and friends who are tuning um, via live stream. Uh, we want to acknowledge you, and we know that you guys wanted to be here, um, and so we thank you for your, for your love, for your prayers, as also for your for your gifts. And so we have a special item and it's going to come up here from the Pule family all the way in Brisbane. And so we're going to put it right here on the screen. Thank you. <laughs> Shot, <babe. laughs> hi family, hi friends. Um, we, my name is George, and these are my sisters, and Kamal, my wife. Um, we're representing our, the Pole family here in uh, Brisbane. Um, as you can see, not everyone is here with us. Um, so many things are happening at the moment, so we're here representing. And, um, and we just want to say thank you to everyone for being there tonight. To support our brother, our cousin, mm. uh, Phil, mm. and um, to show your love and respect to him, and uh, we appreciate. We, we, I'm sure, we are sure that uh, Phil has in some way touched um, your life, uh, whether it's in a big way or a small way. Um, we believe that uh, any person that Phil has come across and. Uh, got the opportunity to know who he is, um, got to find out what kind of person he really was. And uh, for us, it's he's our first cousin to us and uh, we grew up with him um, and back in Pororoa. And we have so many memories, so many memories growing up together. Um, and some pretty funny memories as well of uh, some of the things that Phil used to get up to and uh, I'm sure, you know, you'll be hearing a lot of stories or you have been hearing stories tonight and um, just some, some of the things that Phil gets up to um, and some of the things that he does and um, I mean, we were just talking about some of the stories that we have with Phil and I think one of the stories that we 
that everyone has nominated me to share tonight would be uh, just about uh, Phil um, loved his fish fingers and I'm sure um, some of you already know the story uh, but it's a it's a story that I will remember for for the rest of my life uh, I think Phil had um, cooked some uh, fish fingers and apparently um, Phil must have went to do something, came back and the fish fingers were gone. Um, without realising it, we found out later that it was Francis that, uh, that ate his fish fingers. And uh, this is just before we went to church um, and uh, they got into an argument and uh, that argument, argument turned into a, a punch up and, uh, and you know, Committed as we were, we still went to church, <laughs> and um, Francis was the only one that had a black eye um, at church. And so we, we would mock Francis and say, hey, you got to stop eating Phil's uh, fish fingers. So, <laughs> But you know, there's stories like that, but there's plenty of other stories as well. Um, stories about, uh, you know, things that we see about Phil is that he loves his kids, um, he loved life. Mm -hmm. And, um, but most importantly, he was a humble person, um, you know, just always taking the time to say hi to someone in church, um, always, um, always wanting to wear the latest gears as well. When we play basketball, he's always wanting to wear the latest Jordans. Um, every competition of the year when he was playing for the Revelators, every year, new boots. Um, <laughs> And that was Phil. Um, but yeah, so, you know, we, we will miss him dearly. And um, we are saddened that we couldn't be there with everyone there to celebrate his life together. But we thank God for um, the internet um, that we can connect this way and, um, and just share in his life um, how much he means to us. So to Auntie Millie and uh, to all our cousins and uh, Francis, Orlando, Millie Jr. Um, and every, every other person that's there tonight, thank you so much for allowing us to be a part of Phil's life. Thank you for allowing us to share um, who he is and um, who he was. And so we thank you and um, from everyone here, we love you guys. Thank you. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar, for the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. In the sweet
shall meet on that beautiful shore. We shall meet on that beautiful shore. That was Miranda Ofeira and George and his beautiful wife, Carmel. And one thing I love about George, he is one person that can sing bass one minute and then sing soprano the next. Uh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, I know that we had family, and thank you so much to our Puli family for honouring our time. We do want to blow it up, but I also recognise some have travelled. And so I just want to, you know, I'm, you know, like God, he gives grace. And so uh, I want to extend a bit of that grace. If there's one or two more that would just love to just come up and share um, something, this is the time. Otherwise, the door of probation will close. <laughs> yeah, come up. Come, guys. So my lot. All good? Yeah? The Christchurch crew, come on up. These guys just arrived this morning. Come up, girls. Come up with mum. Um, obviously, I've been put on the spot. Thanks a lot, Sissy. Um, um, look, for those of you who don't know me, um, my name is Julie Aosangi, um, and these are my sisters. Uh, we came from Christchurch with our mum, and our father is the late Ba'utile A. Malanga Aosangi. Um, what can we say? Um, uh, the relationship between me and Phil, or with all of us, is every time uncle and auntie would travel down with the old Fay Bessie, or even if it was just a family trip down, they would always pop in and visit um, our family, mum and dad. Um, so we, that was kind of like back and forth as well. When we come up to Wellington, it was always Mayher Place. And probably the one memory I probably remember of Phil is, you know, when Philip gone ducks, he felt like I gave me best it up. And he's such a pro at it too, even with, he gave a far more popo le afei besi o le ainga for something, or noticing with the church. Um, Philip's always, you know, putting his hand up and wanting to conduct. But there's this, always this one incident, maybe last year, with um, with Uncle's passing of his funeral, Uncle Tafar, or Uncle Dave, as we knew him back then, was when um, Sister Taunga and Filippo would have an argument of who was the best conductor. So now, conductor number one, so he takes the reins, and uh, sorry sis, you, yeah, you're just uh, out of luck. So yeah, <laughs> uh, so, yeah um, so thank you so much for allowing us to have this time, and um, rest in peace, brother. Um, Filippo, Francis, and Orlando, and Melia were more like our other siblings in a way. So, I'd say, love and love and Phil was a, definitely a unique conductor. Uh, when one of my aunties passed away in last year, 
he not only conducted, but he also soloed in that, in that choir. And it was a fairly new song for some of us, and we all had words. Phil had the words, and when it was his time to sing, I don't know what words he was singing, because they were definitely the wrong words. And Philip was really unique in that space. Thank you so much for our Pule family for sharing the love. We also have Vanessa's sister who are going to represent. Um, if you are here, I'm going to invite you to come up. Sylvia, I believe. I hope I got that right. Thank you, sis. E mu mua na si ile bi inga ma le fapita ili e tua ono o tato fata si le ne yaso e fapma na tu e soi fua o si tato o atli i pele le tma le uso ma le pa ana ola o Filipo. Wow, that's the salmon part out. Talo falava ma loi le le. My name is Sylvia Moy. I am one of Vanessa's six older siblings. Yes, Vanessa is the baby of Taumei na moe le nuu po wono and lei titi malu whatasinga veiluanga Tusani's seven children. I was asked by Vanessa to speak today on behalf of our Taumei na moe ainga and to share with you all today what Phil meant to our family. Phil was the newest addition to our family but he felt like one of the oldest because he seemed to fit into our crazy and chaotic family gatherings like he'd been part of it for years. We were looking forward to him finally being part of our family secret Santa and biggest loser shenanigans at Christmas time, but are comforted in the thought that we, are now, we now have a chance to win the biggest loser challenge because you were definitely the front, row, front runner film you would have had a great time seeing just how much mum and us all love you and how we had more than just welcomed you into our family but pleased that Kevin my husband now had someone to talk about why their eye condition prevented them from getting their driver's license. <laughs> Two driving Miss Daisies indeed. <laughs> the consensus amongst our family was that we all loved his big smile his big heart and his gentle and caring nature. Definitely a perfect match for our baby sister. So when they announced they were getting married next year, we were all thrilled that Nessa said yes and that Phil could now finally join the other brother-in-laws who can't barbecue without burning everything. <laughs> he would be a work in progress just like the other bros. Our family had the privilege and honour to spend time with Phil at the funeral home on last Sunday afternoon. And during this time, reminisced about how happy Phil was over the past few months. Loved his new job with Noel Leeming and his workmates, especially his new uniform with his name on it. But most importantly, planning his and Nessa's February wedding. His last things to do list was contacting his family to share his and Nessa's happy news and to make sure that they were around to share in their happy day. You all know who you are because he probably spoke to you or left messages to ring him over the last few weeks of his life. He seemed to love the freedom of having a renewed confidence to be his best self and to be that best self for his mother, brothers and sisters, children and for our baby sister. To Mele Muffy, Pauling, John, and Isbele, Hingano, Francis, Orlando, Mel's, and Phil's extended Pule and Salun Yainga. There are no words or thoughts I can offer at this time of profound sadness at yours and our family's loss with Phil's sudden passing. But please be comforted in knowing what our family saw in Phil in the time that you shared with. Vanessa shared him with us and Vanessa. We saw a wonderful person who had turned a corner in life. 
a person who had finally stepped into the light of knowing who he was as a person and knowing what he was capable of doing when encouraged to put his mind to it. But most importantly, a person who had found the strength to be happy and always and to always be his best self for all of you today. Phil, to you I say, this is not goodbye or farewell, as you will always be with us in spirit and in our memories. But thank you. Thank you for allowing us to be part of your life. But most importantly, for making our baby sister the happiest she has been in a long time. Now, we have a lot of strengths in our family, and one of them is not singing. <laughs> so we're not even going to try after hearing what his tongue and his Samoan side have done today. So we'll just leave it to you. Love to love. Now it is time for us to um, travel on the other side of the family, to the Saluni family. And um, as I said again, it's open testimony. And so, but we're going to start with uh, Uncle um, Baya and Auntie Celia. If you can make your way right now, um, they, they will kick it off for us. And individual families, if you feel that you want to come or just come and share and do a song, you can do so as well, okay? Um, but also there is another section where we're going to have friends. And so that's another opportunity, any of Philip's workmates um, or some of his church family that would just love to, the young people that know Phil, would love to share a molimau. There is a section there for you as well. Thank you. Sister, why didn't you start? <laughs> Sister, 30 seconds. <laughs> Yeah. Greetings to you all. My name is Cecilia Saloni. I'm Mel Murphy, or Filippo's auntie, and I live in Australia. Just a brief memory of Philip. I remember him. Of Phil Philip was my father, Isileli Saloni Palaz, which is Philip's grand grandfather's favorite son, grandson. Why? Because Philip's mother, Menemafi, was my father's favorite daughter <laughs> because she was named after his mom. As he was Menemafi's oldest son, he treated him to be the best of all his other grandchildren. Philip knew that. He always liked to go to his grandparents' place, especially on Sabbath. He usually hide in my parents' car after church to go with my, my parents' home. But no way. Tavita, his dad, always looked for Philip where he would find him in my parents' car. And poor Philip, He'll drag his ears and out because Tavita doesn't want Philip to be spoiled. So any grandparents out there, treat all your grandchildren the same. <laughs> I like to sing a song about Oleoti Ole Totonile Oleansala. Death is the wages of sin. As this is where we all will end up to from this life. My girls are not here to sing for you, as I don't have the voice, but I will try to sing it. This song, I wrote it myself. Amen. Oh, Leoti. 
Ole totongile, ole amasala, famuta ina ilema na vola, ole tangata, fatali aile unga, ole na fa amasi nonga, bitu si alo na ingo, ila tu si ole ola. Bale alanga fia fia o a unei na hoti wa o to e tu mai ta to la la langi ele to fo i selele o lo o mala a mai le li e ta to wo e se mai. So so no we na ile a fi fa atasi masata ni le li i o le ne i la lo langi le o ti fe o ya i lo tu i le tu ama u fe o ya i lo ma. Male alanga fia fia o a unei na oti wa o to e to mai is wa for Jesu amen. You wanna support or? You just stay there. Just stay there. Just stay there, sis. I'm sorry, um, friends and family. The CD of that song is already sold out. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you want a CD, www.cwd. Hingano <laughs> pule. That's where you get your order from. But it's gonna take you five years. It's a, it's a waiting list. Thank you. Fatalo <laughs> fatu. If I au ya Pastor Henry malifale tua fa pere no fo alo fa ta lo fa tu a inga mo bo ma e ma sani o lo ingoa o paia saloni Last weekend I will try and do in English save the time I like the amen to say thank you. <laughs> Last weekend, the family celebrate celebration the wedding, not my wedding, my <laughs> nephew's wedding in Australia. That was on Sunday, and the scenery. It was a happy occasion, but now. Is the other way around now. Like the old song, I remember the old songs, the words of the old songs. Sad movies make me cry. <laughs> Sad scenery make Pia cry. Last night I got here half past one, two o'clock. I was at my uh, sister's place, Millie, and she was the only one waiting for me. Everyone was asleep, <laughs> and I say to my sister, "You love your brother from your heart. That's why you still stay awake." So as my sister say, "Brother, get a pace and sleep." Because my uh, my niece Julie and my other nieces, 
They say, Uncle, we pay for your accommodation. Very, very expensive. And they say, where am I staying? At Christopher Hotel in Levin. <laughs> and I told my niece, Uncle want to sleep beside Philip. So my, my, uh, my sister merely asked, say, get a place. And I said to my sister, don't worry, sis. I opened my suitcase, I got a mat. <laughs> See, sis, this mat, I can sleep in the sitting room, I can sleep in the hallway, I can sleep at the kitchen, or I can sleep at the bathroom or outside. Paya, <laughs> get a blanket. I say to my sis, sis, I got a blanket in my, in my suitcase. I pull out my blanket. Paya, get a tower, soroka eli. Sis, I got my own soroka eli. It's in my basket, it's in my suitcase. And I say to my sis, remember the story of, uh, of the wise, ten wise virgin? The ten wise? The ten, the ten, the ten, the five wise and the five foolish? And I told him, tomorrow you will hear the, the foolish uh, virgin. And uh, she said, how do you know that? Listen, yes. This morning I can hear. Officer Soloka Ele. There you are. They are the foolish what they didn't come prepare. Officer Palankeke. See, I told you they didn't come prepare. But that's how, because I say to my sister, you know what? I love you from my heart. That's why I come prepare. I don't like you to go back to the hospital. <laughs> Philip. Always when I say something to Philip, Philip, and when Philip, when Philip, this is how he, he said, he answered, yeah, 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 uncle. When he said, yeah, yeah, three times, he won't do it. <laughs> Filippo, oh, sorry, uncle, I forgot all about it. The only way Philip remember it, if he's at the kitchen and I tell Filippo some, um, someone, you know, Melis house at the, at the, in the sitting room, then that's when Filippo remember. Because it's just from the kitchen to the sitting room, he will do it. But anything, he say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he won't do it. <laughs> that is Filippo. Because I like uh, Francis. Don't repeat what others repeat. So I'm going to cut it short. <laughs> hey, I like the book of Job, the one we study. Everything happened to, to Job. The children die, the beautiful house, everything. You know what Job said? The Lord alone gives and takes. Praise the name of the Lord. Now for in a mai e yova, wa ave se in a foi e yova, ia fama nu le suafa o yova. Mele, Francis, Lando, and Mele la giki, ia fama nu le suafa o yova. John, Pauline, my presence hinganu, ia famanu le suafa o yova. Vicky, your children, that's how we're going to remember Filippo. Because after tonight and a couple of months, no one will remember Filippo. But when you see Filippo's children, Pauline, John, and Hingalo, then you remember Filippo. Vanessa, it's a short time. This is my first time I've met Vanessa. It's a short time you've known Filippo. But the Saloni, 
and the police doors, homes, always open for you. We love you, Vanessa. Friends and family, this casket here is real. It's not fake. It's real. Inside, it's real. It's not fake. Death is real. The question is, how is your relationship with God? Because tomorrow, you never know. Philip, rest in peace till that golden morning. One voice, Philip, is the voice of your master. The same voice that raised Lazarus is the same voice will raise you on that golden morning. Faafetai ile atua le nata to tupuai le uana alofa mai ya ita to umane ya pepe. Ya pepe se ha hallelujah fa afetai ya pepe se ya pepe se hallelujah fa afetai May the God, may the Lord bless each one of us are here tonight. Faftai Amen. My daughter, she want to say. Hi guys, um, my name's Elena. Unfortunately, this guy's my dad. Um, I wasn't gonna say anything, but I grew up with Phil, so I, yeah. Um, I think one thing Phil feels like my dad here, you know. Francis said he could conduct and sing. This one can come and do a testimony and make it all about himself. <laughs> um, that's okay. Um, but just a quick memory with Phil. Um, he was very musically talented, like, you know, the family. Um, you know, we loved doing, like, items with him and singing with him. And I think that got passed down to, like, Pauline, John. Um, he loved his sport. Whether he was good at it was another thing. But, um, yeah. To um, my cousins, Pauline, John, and Hingano, um, I love you guys. And um, always got you guys. To Phil, um, rest in peace. Um, we will see you in heaven. I don't know about your uncle here, but I will see you in heaven. Um, I'm not going to sing, but thank you. <laughs> I will see you in heaven, Uncle. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> uncle will be around. <laughs> I'm not sure about him. <laughs> thank you so much, Auntie Celia, Uncle Paya, and Lena. You know, one thing, as I sat there this afternoon with uh, my brother Orlando, and we're thinking, how are we going to do this morning, Mao? Because, man, we've been to funerals, family services, and it just blows out. And my uncle Bayer was there. I said, uncle, give us, give us some advice. And all the advice that he gave me, he had just broken every single rule. <laughs> so a mental note to myself, never ask my uncle for advice. <laughs> um, I think this is, might be a good time to invite my first cousins. Um, maybe can, they can all just come up. And as the spirit moves, maybe you want to share a memory. Just, and so I'm going to call you guys to come up right now. You know who you are. We don't want to waste time. And at some point, uh, we'll invite everyone else in terms of uh, um, the rest of the Saluni family. And then we're going to have a bit of a sing song. Because that is one of the favorite memories every time we would go to um, my grandma and grandpa's place in Waitangi Raw. We would always have that sing-along. And so there's going to be a sing-along 
that will conclude our uh, Saluni family testimony of time. Thank you. Um, so remember cousins, keep it two minutes. The only ones that were obedient was my dad's side of the family. Warm greetings to you all. Kia ora. Um, so I said before, my name is Isaleli Manamahe Tau Markisi. Um, so um, I was one of the, uh, uh, the first uh, grandchild of Saluni to be named after him. And um, obviously he had quite a, a few favourites. And I was lucky enough to be uh, probably the first one. And that's probably why, the reason why when Filippo talks to me or texts me, he goes, Hey, uncle. And I'm thinking... Hold on, you're my cousin. No, I'm not that uncle, I'm not that old. So yeah, Filippo had it right. Um, so my first memory of Filippo was um, when he was born, uh, just as a baby. My auntie, uh, Le Muffy and Tevita, uh, used to drop him off to my mum, so that Owen Street in Newtown, to look after him, because I think back in those days, there was no childcare. So in his first couple of years, uh, my mum and dad, uh, my mum used to look after him, babysit. And of course, by default, we would be the babysitters. <laughs> so yeah, so good memories with uh, Filippo in those times. And uh, my last memory of him was a couple of weeks ago when he uh, texted me and said, hey, uncle, I'm getting married in February. Are you going to be available? And I'm saying, I'm not your uncle, I'm your cousin. <laughs> but I, I said to him, congratulations. You know, uh, you, you, you're getting married to a lovely lady, Vanessa, and uh, we're so happy for you. And, uh, you know, unfortunately... Uh, uh, you know, uh, he passed away, but it was great just to, to have that moment with him. And I think a lot of the, the first cousins had that moment with him because that's, that's the, that was on his list to, to get, contact his first cousins and, and see who was available. If you're not available, you get crossed and somebody else take your place. And uh, it was great. Um, so I've, I've, um, I've watched Filippo over the years and all the wonderful things that he's done uh, as, a, as, a, as a father and as a, as a cousin, and, and uh, not only to me, but to others. So, Filippo, rest in peace. We will miss you. As always, uh, you'll be in our hearts, and you'll always be remembered. Malo Good evening, family and friends. I haven't prepared any speech at all. Because as us Salunis, we leave everything till last minute. <laughs> but here we go. First of all, I would like to thank our Heavenly Father for the opportunity that we can gather together as family and friends to share our love and connection with my cousin here, Philip, Phil, Filippo. My name is Mele Mafi Saluni. Filippo is my first cousin. I'm named after his mother, Mele Mafi Pule. Um, I'm going to do something different here. As you all know, we're half Tongan and half Samoan. So I'm going to speak in both languages, and I'll keep it very brief. If I got that word, ki he faith gau Pastor Henry, kai ata keo aya ki ilea no no pe gau ki hoku brother Henry ko Filippo pule ko Filippo na ipusi aki iya he maugui ko saluni pala. Pe talupe ne tupu koe akona ki ia e mau kui a saluni pala kia Filipo ke mana tu i ai lotu mo e family. Pe talupe ne tupu o ku ai pe me ako e Filipo na na e ako e mau kui koe tai nini o ku aluki he lotu po ku ia e ne family e ne fa nau pe koe tamasi i to taha na e ofa. Ofa lahi ke ne family a Filippo. Go yape. Now I'll go briefly to Samoan language. Talofa lava. My name is Mele Mafi Saluni. Olo ingo Mele Mafi Saluni. Oh. 
when we walk in half an hour ago, Ole Falesang Lene Sa Mato Tupuai Ile Mato since we were young children. But Oteva Ai Etelea familiar faces or Jean New or Le Aupua, the Aingapua, and there were so many familiar faces here. O Filippo O Lo Kazel Na Ealofa Ile Ainga. First of all, he always put Leatua always in everything he does. And everything, in, and the most, second most important, Ole Ainga Ya Filippo. So, my favorite, favorite text, I'm going to leave with, with you all, Ole Text Lea from the Bible. And I know it also is a song as well. So, I would like that awesome pianist if he can come forward and play this song so that we can all sing together and it is let not your heart be troubled can i call upon jean new all our youth there fiona lamshan i see you all there can you please just come forward and and let's sing this together because you all grew up with philip as well and any of those um you know, who would like to join us, Philip's youth today, here in this, let, let's all, you know, um, sing the song together for, for Phil. Amen. Come forward. Don't be shy. You all knew feel. That's it. Revelators. Why not for my son?
Malo. Talo Falava, Malo Lele. My name is Naomi Saluni Tavao, and my dad is Sione Otalao Olakepa Saluni, Auntie Millie's uh, older brother. Um, so many memories of uh, Filippo uh, growing up in Corinna Street as well as Niagara and I definitely was not one of the favourites <laughs> for Grandpa where Filippo was given the key to the food cupboard. Um, I was told, Naomi, no fukilalu, many times. Um, but Filippo, uh, we will miss his humour, his alofa, just his joy at seeing you. Um, my husband Tusa was saying, I haven't seen, whenever I see Filippo, it's like I haven't seen him in many years because he will just say, Tusa, and give him a big hug. And um, what I loved about Filippo is just his humility. Amongst all of us very loud cousins, Philip was just in the background, smiling away, happy. Um, we have a memory of uh, Filippo in Tonga. We did a family trip to Tonga, and um, Filippo was like the golden child. <laughs> uh, he had just been circumcised, and, <laughs> and everyone was told, do not go near Filippo. Do not touch him. Do not make him cry. And so for all us cousins, we spent most of the trip complaining about Filippo. <laughs> but honestly, we, we just love how humble he was. He taught us so much, um, not just in uh, not judging people, but uh, also when things go wrong, you know, you never give up and you always have hope. And it was so good that Vanessa, uh, that was the last time we heard from Filippo, was talking about the wedding in February. And he wanted everybody's names and addresses. Um, so we're really thankful for that. All of our love to Auntie um, and Francis, Orlando, Mouse. Um, and his beautiful children, John, Pauline, Hingano, um, as well as the grandchildren. So, Fapitei um, Tele Lava, you know, Philip, for teaching us so much um, and sharing your talent of singing and your, just your joy for, for, for life. Um, and that's it from me. I know I have lots of other uh, family behind me who would like to share their stories. Fapitei Tele Lava. I te fatalofma fa failure to le Bayama Malu le offering a ring a paella toy, fat a fatal lung a fear, one fayona pot pot may pot pot may ne a fiafi, fa pito foilo, a fatalofa, a fat failing a ile a tay tail tato soninga, Pastor Francis. Ya, oh, fatalofa foile a ingalicia. Uh, war Ema Sani Mofeona, uh, Tato Fatasi Ilene, uh, Soninga, or the Family Service. Uh, greeting, greetings, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Isaleli Saluni. I'm uh, uh, one of the many first cousins of uh, Phil. Um, my father is uh, Sione, who's the older uh, brother of uh, Mele. I have many memories uh, uh, of Phil growing up as cousins. Um, many good memories and not so good memories. Corinna Street, as already mentioned, uh, Niagara Street, uh, eating, uh, eating Kokolesa or Gorbay in, uh, in Corinna Street on Sunday morning with our grandpa and grandma. Uh, so when they say Corinna and, and Niagara, what they mean is our grandparents' place. So we'd spend many weekends, holidays, um, all hanging out together with uh, uh, Francis, Pastor Francis, Pastor Lando, all of us cousins, we'd all, there would be about 30 of us in a three bedroom house and uh, we all hung out together, um, got up to lots of things and um, uh, would go to Pathfinders together on a Sunday morning. One, other, one thing that we would often do together is we would sing as a family and uh, we would, our grandpa would get us to sing 
um, you know, whatever special occasions that uh, arose. And uh, so I remember when I would stand next to, uh, to Phil, and uh, as you know, Phil was a good singer. And so when he sang, it, it was quite harmonious. So it made my voice sound really good too. So I would sing, it would give me confidence to sing really well and, and fantastic. And I loved, loved it when I was standing next to Phil when we would have our, our singing, uh, our family singing. But every now and then, I just, unfortunately, I would be standing next to one of my two brothers, uh, Feder or, or, or Pepe. And it's like, you know, the blind leading the blind. <laughs> and so, you know, my brother would go flat, the other one would go flat, I'd go flat, and, and the song would sound terrible. So they would strategically place uh, uh, Phil in, the, in amongst us to just make sure we stayed on the right track. Um, one of the other things uh, growing up just uh, um, the, the, that I remember Phil was um, he loved uh, basketball. And uh, a lot of us young people, uh, the church, uh, church young people, some of them, they stood here earlier on. And uh, we, would, we would love playing basketball when we were uh, younger, uh, well, either whether it was with the Revelators or, uh, and, yeah, and, and later on we would have a, a school, uh, not a school, com a um, church competition down at uh, Noah's Ark and would break up into teams and we loved uh, playing basketball. Uh, Phil, he had the latest basketball gears, you know, he, he was one guy that was immaculate, he had the latest gears, the latest Jordan shoes, um, you know, he had, even when he played basketball, everything was absolutely correct. He, you know, his, uh, his layup was absolutely correct. His, his jump shot, absolutely point on. The problem, though, is that um, the ball would often just fall short of the ring. <laughs> and, um, you know, we wondered what was going on, why, why that was the case. And the reason being because Phil was short-sighted. <laughs> so, you know, it would just fall short. Everything was great. Say, take the shot, Phil, take the shot. Take the shot and just fall short. Say, no, no, nice try, nice try, because yeah, yeah, lay up, lay up, lay up, because do the lay up, just quite, kind of fall short again. Say, that's all good. Clap hands, we'll, we'll run back, all good, good, good. But I'm thinking to my head, oh my goodness. But, um, but you know, everything he did, he, he always tried his best. And that was the main, uh, that was one thing that I, um, that I remember about uh, uh, Phil. Um, of more recent times, because I, my wife and I, we lived in uh, Australia for many years. I didn't quite uh, get, get to see uh, Phil that often. But a um, um, couple of weeks ago, uh, he uh, rang me and uh, he said, oh, cuz, like it's already been mentioned, he was really excited for his uh, big day, for his uh, uh, wedding next year. And um, you know, he asked if I can you know, play a, a, a role in, in, his, in, his, in, his, in his day, and I said, absolutely. But I could just hear it in his voice, you know, could hear in his voice, he was excited, he was happy, and, um, you know, the wedding's probably, what, five, six months away, or was, and uh, already he was planning, you know, what's your postal address? I've got to, you know, is, is T.E. here? He said, yeah, yeah, okay, I've got to make sure I send the uh, invite out. So I just, you know, just acknowledge and pay tribute to Vanessa for bringing happiness in uh, Brother Phil's life. So uh, thank you to uh, Vanessa. Um, to... Uh, Auntie Mele, um, Pastor Francis, Pastor Lando, uh, Mele, um, Vanessa and the family, the Phil's children, um, may God strengthen, comfort and keep you as you continue in this life's journey. There was an old church hymnal song that has come to mind in the last few days, which, are, um, which somehow just, and the words say, we have this hope that burns within our hearts. Hope in the coming of the Lord. I love that song, and I just love the word hope. And um, so I just want to just uh, just to encourage our family, and especially uh, my auntie and, and, the, and the children, is that we do have that hope in the coming of, of the Lord. And um, and just like Phil was excited for um, his big day, or was was excited for his big day, there's even a bigger day that's coming, and that's the uh, the resurrection. Uh, morning where we can see Phil and all of our loved ones who have passed on. Uh, so sleep well, cuz. Um, your work on this earth is done. Um, we look forward to that uh, glorious resurrection day uh, when we will be reunited. Aloha for Tele Moe, Maya Manuia, Lo Malanga, Fafte.
My name is Julianne Saluni Motu. I have not met Vanessa. This is my first time to see you, Vanessa. I am Philip's first cousin. Some of you know that we've just um, returned from a beautiful wedding um, in Port Macquarie, uh, New South Wales. So the whole Saluni family were congregated there. Our Melbourne families, um, Uncle Samu and the family, Uncle Samisi's family. Um, I spoke with Auntie Ella, Paul Fulton, Noor Bala Jr., Samisi and JT, and they were all sending their love to Auntie. And um, so I want to acknowledge them too. I also want to acknowledge our uh, Fahu, Auntie Funaki. She's here with us today. Where are you seated, Auntie? She's here, yes. <laughs> Love you, Auntie. So, um, like Francis said, some of my stories have been taken, so I've got to come from another angle. <laughs> And, um, and one of them was the one in Tonga. So we're very young at age. Our whole family are going to Tonga for a lovely family holiday. And Grandpa Saluni was, um, you know, our leader. And it was in Tonga where all us children, um, you know, started singing together. We, we started singing together in Tonga. And um, in our village of Lemadua, Grandpa would take us from house to house, and he, he really was so proud, and he really was showing us off to, to the village. So we were singing, and he came to one home, and there's this lovely lady, she's doing her ganga mea, and you know, wearing a lava lava, and you know, she's just minding her own business, but Grandpa makes us all gather around this lady, the neighbor, and we're singing songs to her. You know, songs about Jesus is coming, and you know, are way far beyond Jordan. And, and so that's where we started singing as a family. So I thank God for that. Thank you, Grandpa, too. Yes, it's true. Philip had a minor surgery, and he was recovering in Tonga at that time. And none of us were to even look at Philip the wrong way. We were not to nudge him. We just had to stay away from him. He was Grandpa's favorite and we really were jealous. Well, let's fast forward a couple of years, and we're living in Palmerston North, me, Chris, and we're attending the Palmerston North Primary School. And mom says, after worship, I have an announcement. So we had our worship, we sat down, and I'm wondering, what's this announcement? And that's where mom said, we're having Philip with us, living with us here in Palmerston North. He's going to attend the primary school with us in Palmerston North. And Chris and I looked at each other. But me, remembering Tonga, he was grandpa's favorite. Oh, no, he's going to be mom's favorite now, you know. And, um, well, Philip did come. He did a couple of years in Palmerston North with us. And it was there that we connected with Phil. And, and he's, he was my brother. So as I said, we were just in Port Macquarie, and now we're here. We're here to celebrate his life. I'm comforted by Ecclesiastes 3, and I want to share that with Auntie Mele, my cousins, my whole family, the Pule family too. To everything, there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. It's a really long ch chapter. I'm not going to read it all. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck what is planted. This chapter reminds us that God is sovereign over all creation. Therefore, the boundaries of life, the boundaries of death, are under God's control. What an awesome God we serve. And yes, um, as um, Alva'a said, we were getting phone calls about his wedding. See, it's another story that's been repeated. I've got to come another angle now. So Philip did call us. And he was so, ex he was happy. Cuz, 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 where are you? In February, 
I said, Phil, I'm not here. And then he just went on and let, let us know what was happening. And, but the joy in his voice, the excitement. He had been planning this, Vanessa. He had been planning his wedding. And um, so, yeah. Um, so, so it makes me happy that... You know, Phil's last days was planning a happy event. I want to sing a song with my brother Chris. It's a song that Chris composed. See, Auntie Celia can also write songs, but Chris can write, so we got very much talented families. And uh, I want to sing one of Chris's songs. But the song is, surely my God deserves every praise. And that was Philip planning his wedding, you know, planning his future with Vanessa. My prayers go out to Auntie. Auntie, you brought up and Uncle Tavita, a beautiful, humble boy in Filippo. We love Filippo very much. My best friends growing up are my first cousins, and here they are on stage, and some of you are the same. So my, our cousins also in Australia, including Lottie and Esther, we remember them too. So, Chris, are you ready? Let's test your mic. One, two. Okay. Two. How about I come closer to Chris? Is that all right? Hello, everybody. Testing. Glad to see this occasion with Philip. Do you want to say something about Phil? Um, I remember when, I, when Philip started his singing group with the New Life Singers, just sort of briefly. In, they, they had to take a program in the afternoon, Philip Francis and Lando, and uh, they were singing non-stop before the program started, and I was astounded. Their repertoire was song after song after song. They had many songs to share, and I was really jealous because um, when my mom taught me how to sing, she only taught me one song a day. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, oh, I thought that was really brilliant, uh, really brilliant how they we were talented. Anyway, that's my testimony today is my song to, to see for all occasions. Surely my God deserves a few praise. Chris, you need to put the mic on the stand. <laughs> He's trying to play with one hand. No, 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 no. Just put it on the stand, sweetie. Sure. 
I would like to take this opportunity to thank God, thank Francis for giving us a chance to um, say something about Philip. Philip is one, he's the favorite um, grandson. Um, our grandparents, they love Philip very much and they don't want us to hit Philip or talk bad about Philip because this is one of his favorite. Now, everyone, they say, you know, all the good memories about Philip. But for me, I want to talk about Philip and his um, personality. Philip is a kind person, mm. and he's got this love for his children. Mm. I want to talk about his children. 
Look at them. They are beautiful kids. Pauline, John, John's partner, and Hingano. <clears throat> and if you see Philip, you know, when, if he comes to church, he would always look after Hingano. Even though Hingano <laughs> runs around, oh, what a loving father. He always takes care of her. And uh, I learned a lot from Philip. And uh, Philip, may you rest in peace, Philip. And we will continue to look after your children and your dear mother. We love you, Philip. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Mark McKesey, uh, uh, as you know. Um, yeah, I'm also uh, Philip's first cousin. Uh, and I also um, was lucky enough to be chosen to um, spend some time with um, Auntie Seppel in Palmerston North. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a good couple of years with uh, Philip. Um, uh, one time we, we used to bike to school every day and bike home. Um, but one particular Friday, um, I couldn't find Philip, so I had to bike home by myself. And I got back home, and uh, Auntie asked where was Philip. And I said, oh, I don't know, Auntie. Um, I think he's, he, he's um, just gone the scenic route, or he, he'll be home soon. But uh, for some reason, I, um, I knew Auntie knew where he was. Um, and so we waited. We waited for Philip to come home. And it was Friday, uh, just before Sabbath. And um, Auntie, well, when Philip turned up, Auntie asked, Philip, where have you been? Why are you so late? And Philip said, oh, um, I was just with friends. And I said, no, Philip, you weren't with friends. You were playing video games <laughs> at the takeaways. <laughs> and Philip goes, no, Auntie, no. And she looked at me and said, Mark, go get the, the, the stick from my side. <laughs> and go, and all I could hear while I was walking outside was Philip going, no, auntie, no, no. <laughs> and yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, Philip got a lesson that, that day. Um, yeah, it was, it was funny because the takeaway was actually across the road from um, another Seventh-day Adventist family um, <laughs> that we were really close with. So, you know, if he was going to choose somebody to play video games, you know, you choose one, you know, next suburb or something. Uh, but yeah, the... Um, I really enjoyed my time with Philip. We um, had a good um, bond, um, uh, especially when we moved to Longburn, and it was a much longer um, a bike ride. Um, yeah, and uh, Philip had a 12-speed bike at that time, and I had a BMX. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I like to go fast, even though I only had a BMX, and he had the uh, you know Olympic-style uh, cycle. Um, so we, I, I had to follow Phil uh, to school and back home. Uh, but for some reason, I always thought he was a bit slow. You know, so, you know I'd like to go faster. So what I'd like to do was um, go behind Phil and uh, with my front wheel, like tap his back wheel just to urge him on. And I thought it was so cool, as he, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't budge. Uh, he would just go at his normal speed, you know, so I just had to stay behind him. But I didn't, you know, once in a while, I'd come and nudge him again. Um, yeah, and then one time uh, I nudged them a bit too much and uh, it, it, I ended up uh, crashing. Um, and we were on the main motorway as well, uh, State Highway number one. Um, and lucky, lucky uh, this uh, nice couple stopped and asked if I was okay. But uh, I think it was more my pride that was hurt because, um, you yeah, know, looking at Phil, he was just, you know, he had a little smirk on his face. But he didn't say anything. Um, and it was oh, what I always loved about Phil. Um, he never um, uh, judged anybody, or um, he never had um, anything, you know, bad to say. Uh, he was uh, always uh, one with words of um, uh, comfort and support. Um, yeah, so thankful for um, oh, that time that I spent with Phil, um, even though I was I was a bit um, yeah a bit uh, on the on the crazy side. Uh, he he always stayed. Um, uh, stayed the line and um, and kept us 
kept us um, yeah, going well. Um, yeah, so really um, thankful for um, uh, for not um, yeah for not uh, yeah giving me a hiding because he was much older than me. Um, but I uh, really loved the, the moments where he would um, he loves to sing. Um, he would always yeah every time we had to sing. Um, he was always the first to put up his hand, um, and he'll be in the front, um, and he'll be this, the loudest. Um, and uh, yeah, always thank, thankful for my time with Phil. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, before I say uh, a few words about uh, my dear cousin Philip, can I just call up the Palatawake and uh, Saluni family to come up to the front? We're going to sing after this. So make your way up to the front now, please. Palatawake and Saluni. In other words, family, come. <laughs> Grandkids and everyone, come. My Lord Alefa, fifth um, Talofalava, greetings and hello. My name is Alisi Makisi. I am the um, oldest daughter of um, Auntie Mele's oldest sister, Lolohea Melanate Gulguldea Makisi. And, um, and I'm just going to keep it short. I'm Philip's first cousin. And um, everyone was talking about our trips to, uh, in Tonga. and. And um, I can put my hand up and say I was the leader of the pack, of the singing group. And, um, and truly, I can uh, vouch and confirm that Philip has got a beautiful voice. He is a good singer. And uh, he was one of my little cousins. Um, as you see, we're all ranged in different ages. Um, so Philip and, and Orlando and, uh, and uh, Francis are one of the younger cousins. And so um, Philip was always a sweet little cousin of mine. I always had a heart for, for Philip. Um, but now I know today why he squints a lot. It's because he was short-sighted, so I didn't know that. I just thought that he just likes to just squint and uh, make his eyes Chinese like mine. So, um, yeah, so, but um, Philip is, is a, is a good-natured, good heart uh, young man, and... Um, and I just, um, you know, will truly miss Philip. And but I just want to have a word of encouragement to 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 Auntie Mele. This is not the last time you'll see your son. And also Francis and Orlando. This is not the last time you'll see France, uh, Philip. Because we have hope in in the one that has risen from the grave, the one that has sat on the right hand of our Father, the one who's going to come back and take us to be with him forever. No more tears, no more crying, no more pain, no more sorrow. And so we, we have that hope. So hold on to that hope and continue to look to, to the Lord, continue to trust in Jesus, the comforter and, uh, and the Holy Spirit of the Lord and hold on to his word because we all have to get to, to, to where Philip is at this moment. His body is here, but his spirit is in heaven, presence with Jesus. So um, be encouraged. Be encouraged, family. Be encouraged, um, Philip's children. Um, I haven't really um, known Hingano, uh, but I know Pauline and John. Yeah, just take comfort that Jesus is with you, and uh, take comfort that He is our strength and our refuge. So, um, so I just want to give my love to Auntie Mele. Be strong, Auntie, and um, in, in Francis, and also in um, Orlando and the rest of the family. God is good. Amen. So let's, uh, we're going to sing a song. What's the song we're going to sing? Oh, we're going to sing In My Father's House, A Many Mansions. Rika Holo, please come forward. Hala Holo, Rika. Yeah. So, Ofalahia to Auntie Mele, and Ofalahia to Francis and, F and Orlando and family.
Salo Farava, Malo de Day, Olo Wingoa of Funaki, Tuai, Afasa Moa, Matem Atonga, Olo Tina, or to a fine or saloon. That's why they call me Faru. Oteleto e molimau, wavevela le fala. La ausua tu le pese fa tonga. Short and sweet. To say goodbye to Philip. Lossi, Lossi, Lossi. Ele, 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 lo udeo, but I try. Now that we have sailed away from Bava'u and Tonga with our Saluni family, the extended remix, we now land with family, our friends, friends of Philip. And so it's an open mic. Um, if there's anyone here that would just love to, this is our final section before we hear some words of hope. So if you would like to share a short two-minute moli mau, we want to invite you to come right now. There may be some from... Uh, church back in the day as Phil loved his youth choir um, but also some of his workmates may be present as well so this is your Avangoa Fafatai God is good and all the time um, ele manga kunga e face ma moli mau, ba ale face moli mau pupu lava. Oke vala awa ku ile kako auka lava. Um, old, new, side by side, left, right, center. Ai longonga nga e bese le um, youth choir that Phil led. Please come forward. I don't want to start naming you. So if you're revelators, pacers, um, susu mai luma se face kako moli mau pupu lava ma um. So, Tai, please make your way to the piano. Mm -hmm. Come on, youth. George, Naya, Jay. Come on, I'm going to start naming you. Come forward. Justin, Ezra. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Or Ea, old, new. Come on, make your way forward. Jessica, don't make your way outside. The f come forward. Um, Pastor Ekwaki, my dad, you know you always thought you were young, so come forward. Um, Ebu Pu Lavalot Molly Mau. 
um o filipo se tsanga tsa lofa o se tsanga tsa file mu o se tsanga tsa foi e a lofa tsele ilanga au kala vo langa e kala sia matsanga tsa uma lava old young you name it phil had your back um i ngo foi as i was just sitting there listening to testimonies of phil I never thought that we would have someone so young um, in our church family that would pass away. So it just felt that we, you know, to pay tribute to Phil, it was best that we come forward and just sing a song, celebrate Phil, and just give thanks to Auntie Mele for sharing her beautiful son, um, the beloved Vanessa and her kids, as well as the Saluni and Bule family. Um, so yeah, we're gonna sing It Won't Be Long, Phil's One Hit Wonder, <laughs> but, um, and yeah, I'll give it to the shiny baldy head, and he'll say a few words and then we'll sing that song. At least mine is longer than Francis, and <laughs> when your dad passed away, it was during lockdowns. We would have loved to come, but we couldn't. So when Nita burst into my bedroom um, last week and said, Filippo passed away, there's nothing that could stop me because I wanted to come and just be here. I was hiding at the back there. And then this, one of, one of these kids that was always difficult, this one here. <laughs> but it's a joy to be here and to see all these children and many of them that were here earlier it's, it's good to, to, to retire and just watch young people take the stage. Too often, too often in our Pacific Island cultures, we tend to still think that they are young, but they are leaders now, and they have been leaders for many, many years. It's good to just be in the background and uh, pray for them. And parents, this is one of our Pacific cultural things which we are good at, support our young people mm -hmm. and stay in the background. Yeah. You are their strength because you have got Christ in your hearts they need to continue to grow themselves. And if we allow them to be leaders as, as God had appointed them, he's coming very soon. We can be pastors, we can be anything. You can be a driver down the road, you can be a someone, but that's your ministry. Let's not think that I'm, Lest you stand here. Whatever God has put into your hand, remember the story of Moses. Moses didn't understand that little piece of stick. God said, toss it out. And he was able to use it mightily. I hear you uh, leading the young people for next next year if you are a parent who love our young people can we do just one little thing before the young people sing can we be all upstanding and i'm gonna pray i'm anointing this girl because she is going to be the leader for the young people next year Look out to the person next to you and just reach out. 
allow that person to anoint you with the power of the Holy Spirit, and you do the same. Just be careful if the person next to you is not your wife, be careful. <laughs> or not your husband, be careful. But let's, let's be spiritual. Come on, let's be outstanding. I'm going to pray. Everyone, please, everyone. I'm going to pray and reach out and touch someone else. We are in church. Father, I pray. The Spirit is here. We are here because somehow we find it very, very, very difficult to understand why you took him. But you took him. It is your will. And Lord, as we stand together, we love our children. We love everyone here. We want to make sure, Lord, that we allow ourselves to be controlled by your Holy Spirit. And as we reach out to each other, we ask you, Lord, please bless each one of us here. And when we do leave this hall, we will remember, we will remember that when you left, you said, I will send my Holy Spirit to be with you. Even though some of the things that we face, we find it very difficult to understand. But one day when you take us all home, you will tell us, and we will raise our hands and say, may your name continue to be blessed because you are God who knows everything. We would love to say together in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
Hello, Falava. Hello, Lele. Bulavanaka. My name is Jean New. Uh, as Billy called me out earlier, um, reminded me of the old days when your name gets called out and you're like, oh, embarrassed to come up. But um, I just felt, thank you, Kathy, for calling us up. We know Phil. I grew up with Phil it's from the beginning. I was telling Billy the other, other day, and these guys I was like, I always thought me and Phil were twins because <laughs> Phil's born on, with, so I'm representing all the babies born in 1972 because there was a whole group of us in our youth. Um, Fefira, um, Aruna, Helen Jackson, um, just so, Simi Caressa, there's just heaps of us. So we all grew up with Phil, so we know Phil real well. And um, Phil used to crack me up because even though he was, he wasn't like the showman, but he was always there, always there in the background, you know, and always liked to look good and things like that. But I used to crack up at Phil because that thing with Phil, he's committed, eh? He's mm. committed to the bitter end. And even if it was things like funny sayings that we used to have as youth growing up, you know, and like, it would be things like, we would say, oh, easy, easy, you know, <laughs> And, you know, and we're all kind of like, oh, yeah, okay, we've passed that. We're on to another saying. And you hear Phil, easy, easy. You know, he just carries it on. And even, like, he had his little quirky things, like, like you would know that's Phil. Like, um, you know, we'll have a joke as, as a youth joke and, you know, a bit of mocking of going on. And then you hear Phil go, Ugh! you know. <laughs> so Phil had this, these always kind of, like, made these funny sounds and stuff like that just... Just, it was just unique, and um, the thing about Phil is that I know that he he was a good good person. I didn't get to see him as much in the latest years. I didn't get an invite as well, but that's all right. <laughs> um, uh, but you know, uh, I know Phil. You know, and a lot of us youth here, and a lot of our our parents, and that we, you know, we always. We always had those values, you know, to love and always care for each other. And no matter how long it's been, we still say hi and and just and that was full. It did like they were saying, you know, he'll always say hi, you know. Even though I used to think when we used to go out back in the days, you know, and Phil would be standing a bit staunch and things like that, but it wasn't. It was just that he couldn't see <laughs> where, who who was calling his name. But um. But thank you, Phil. Thank you for your friendship and thank you for being you. Um, bless well, my friend. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Jean, Kathy, and Pastor Eddie Erika. Is there anyone else? Uh, Talo Falava, um, my name is Donald Leafa and uh, Phil was one of um, my closest friends. Um, like, like the rest of the family, um, we got a call as well. Uh, he called me to share his uh, happy news um, about, uh, you know, his special day with Vanessa. Um, I remember him saying to me, what do you reckon? You know, like Gene said, with, with his quirky voice, he would say, Yep, nah, uh, I'm not getting any younger, and um, you know this Vanessa makes me really happy. Um, you know, I'm gonna do this. So I said to him, "Look, if this is God's will, you know, 
she's the one. So just be happy. And he just was just so, you know, overjoyed and um, happy and just content. You know, he just had this um, real great sort of passion um, and step in life. Um, one quick story I'll, I'll tell is Phil and I, I, I drove over to uh, Phil's place in um, Mayor Place and I uh, picked him up and um, we were just chilling and he sort of said to me, um, what should we do now? And I said, oh, look, we'll, we'll do something. So we went and grabbed something to eat and we went up to um, Pura College because they had like a big area and we could just park the car up there. And I said to Phil, Uso, have you ever driven a car before? He said, no. Nah. And I said, well, you're going to learn today. So I gave him the keys and um, he started the car up. And uh, like my brother Issa said, if his short-sighted was bad in basketball, you should see him driving. <laughs> it was terrible. If, um, to <laughs> Have you ever actually been in a car with a blind person, it's not good, it, it's, you know, it, it, it's not that great. But look, um, I've never ever told that story before. So that was one thing that I always kept, but I wanted to share that, because I know I won't get a black eye like you did. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, the other thing with Phil, I know he loved his kids very much. Look, um, I remember the last time we spoke as well, um, <laughs> You know, he just talked about his kids and he was just so proud of them and, you know, being a grandfather. Yeah, he was, he was just an amazing man. Humble, um, even though, like, he had two awesome brothers in, um, in the ministry, he served God in his own way. So, look, Phil, love you, miss you. I'm glad we reconnected again. Um, and I'm glad that, you know, uh, Phil's life and his celebration has brought um, a number of people um, that I haven't seen in quite some time um, back in, you know, uh, the Lord's house. So, yeah, it's, it's good to be here. It's good to be here. So, yeah, so thank you, everyone. Um, you know, fafteile sungare fafe anga fafe afo ile au fengu wenga fafe manui fafe manui le tuo ya tina mel mafi fafe afo ile nofualo anga ilua fafteile fafteile fafonga. And uh, God bless. Thank you. We're still going to leave it open. Uh, I know we're well tired, fella, and uh, but we still want to leave this opportunity. Anybody. Friends who are here may want to say a few words. Um, we're going to leave it open just a few more moments as we do. We, we have to bring this to a close at some point. Amen, everybody. Okay, so maybe we want to stay here longer. Uh, come on here. It's a good brother here, Wilmerson. Come on up, man. Go ahead. Thank you, Pastor Talofa. My name is uh, Wilmerson. Jensen, I'm from Auckland. There's a lot of Aucklanders here. Um, you're probably all wondering why I'm here. Um, I'm here because I, I used to play in the New Life Singers um, uh, after Chris, so it's really awesome to see Chris here. I spent uh, my teens trying to copy your playing. That was really hard, really awkward. So, um, look, I, uh, I first met uh, Philip and the Pule family in um, the summer of 1990. Uh, that was 30 something years ago. It was a long time. Um, and it was a big camp up at Ardmore, and <laughs> Francis laughing. And um, and I was playing for another group, and I saw the New Life Singers. And um, you know, Gavika uh, one day came to my parents and asked, "Oh, you know, do you want? Uh, is it okay if your son comes to play for us?" And my dad asked me, "You know, do you, do you want to go play?" Because I I was uh, I was at a boarding school then, and I, I wasn't really playing in Christian groups, and uh, I'm not Seventh Day Adventist. Uh, even though Mele tried to marry me off to lots of people. <laughs> I think the Seventh-day Adventist girls are really smart and said no. Um, but I, I remember I kind of, I, I used to see them uh, around the camp and I used to go and watch Chris play in the big tent because that's where they were. And um, then I looked over and I thought, oh, I thought about it and I saw 
uh, Lando, you know, Lando with his hair, his high cut thing, you know, real smooth voice. And I thought to myself, yep, he can sing, you know, he'd make me look good, that's good, do that. <laughs> and then um, I saw Francis, you know, he's just Ula Vale. I thought, that's good, I'm Ula Vale too. And then I saw Phil, and uh, Phil was staunch. Um, I found, found out later, like a year later, it was because he couldn't really see me. Um, but he was always really staunch and he was, um, he was really smooth. And um, he had lots of the Balangi girls from the other Seventh day Adventist churches. They would follow him around. And I thought, yeah, yeah, I want a bit of that too. So <laughs> I joined. <laughs> Look, I, <laughs> I've, I've spent a lot of time on airplanes lately and um, since I found out about Phil last week. <laughs> and, uh, and it's funny because I was remembering all those tours when I was young, flying down here. Um, you know, I was at boarding school from Monday to Friday. Friday I'd get on a plane, learn some songs on the plane. The boys would pick me up from the airport, would come here. You know, Phil would always be the first one to say, you hungry? Um, you know, he'd always, he'd always be the one kind of keeping these two in check um, and me just watching. Um, and I thought of all this, a lot of stories, but I, I won't go into those stories, but I did think about the three things that I've never seen Phil do. Um, and some of them were mentioned tonight. You know, I saw him play a lot of basketball. I never saw him actually take a shot. Um, I, I never saw Phil drive. You know, um, and, the, uh, and for all the musicians, because, you know, Phil graduated from the singing part to with me in the band. Um, and he was my bass man for a while. Um, and uh, we had a lot of fun. And, and you know, I, people know me. I'm religious about charting out the chords so I know what I'm doing. And I used to write them for me and Phil. Phil never read them. <laughs> but he always knew the songs because uh, he knew it from his heart. And um, the way he played, and, um, you know, he was so talented and he was such a good guy. Manuelo Malanga also. I say hi to Vika and Rocky and, uh, and my sister. Yeah, it's pretty good to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Wilma. Uh, truly appreciate you coming all the way down. Uh, anyone else would like to share in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Amen. 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 You know, as we come together this evening, um, so many emotions for, for us. Phil was 50 years old, and if you sit and listen, this evening you have gotten the taste of all 50 years. When he was young, the circumcised story comes out at his funeral, <laughs> Lord of mercy. Him being the favorite, that story comes out right here. Think about his time in Palmston North and times in which he uh, was at home and it seems like that most of his stories seem to evolve around food doesn't it mm -hmm. but we also hear stories of how he encouraged how he led we hear some of the stories of his darker moments in life but we also hear stories of his brighter moments in life and I think that that just comes to what this life is all about, what this journey is all about. You know, the quickest way to get from one point to the next point is a straight line. But life is not a straight line. Life is messy. And there's no one else in the Bible that we hear a lot about their messy life than David. He talks about the highs and he talks about the lows. One psalm, he's praising God, and he says we got to praise God like the trumpets, like the drum, like the cymbals and everything. And then you find within, he's writing about the depths of his soul being in a dark place and asking if God is still there. One of my favorite psalms is found in Psalms 23 one that we memorize we speak about many times the lord is my what 
The Lord is my what? My shepherd. And so he takes us on this high and he starts off by saying, God is God. He's my shepherd. He's my personal shepherd. It's a personal pronoun. Not just saying God is God. He's saying, no, God is my God. He starts to speak about God. In the description, he goes on to say, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul and he, 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 he leads me beside still waters. And the beauty about still waters is this, family, is that even though there may be a desert, even though there may be a storm, even though there may be no rain, if you're close to the water, you will still bear fruit. A lot of times in life, there are so many challenges, so many things that we go through in life, but we got to connect to Jesus as the living water, the living water. This goes on to say, because it starts to get a little bit low in the Psalms when he says, yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Death is just a shadow because even though it may be a reality in this life, it is not a reality in the life that God promises for us. And so, yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You know, one of the things about Phil in his most darkest times of his life, he left me a message. And to, to this day, I saved it. And I listened to it. Because I hear the brokenness in his life, in his voice. I hear that. And I said, oh, so you're going to make it through. He says, I don't know if I'm going to make it through. I said, you're going to make it through. We're going to beat this thing. We're going to live life the way that God intended. Another low. My dad passes away. The voice that I hear on the other side of the phone is Phil's voice. He says, Uso, something happened to dad. He's gone. Another low. But yet God still walks with us in those lows. In those times when we feel alone and we feel isolated, God is still there. And then I need to hear another voice. Uso, I'm getting married. Hey! When we go through these lows in life, we just got to keep on going. There is always hope. There is always joy. Why? Because God is still on the throne. And even though we are here, we are in this time of sadness in our life. We just got to keep on going, Uso. We just got to keep on pushing. Family, we just got to keep on moving. The thing about this whole Psalms is that it ends. It ends in a very positive light. And I want to share that with you as I ask our group to come on up, our family on both sides. We're going to ask you to come on up. We're going to sing this song. But it's a song that was taken from these last words that is found at the end, in, at the end of this psalm. Psalms. And it says these words. Surely, goodness. Make your way up. Make your way up. Let's go. Let's go. We don't have time. Make your way up. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever why does he say that why does the psalm end this way because here it is the goodness of life church family the goodness of life is not about us the goodness of life is jesus pursuing us that his goodness will go with us wherever we go. Whatever challenge we may face, 
whatever situation that is before us, no matter how deep the valley that we go, I need you to understand tonight that God pursues us. He pursued Phil. He pursues each of us. He pursues you and he pursues me. Now one of the things that I don't miss about Wellington is this. I don't miss the weather. Those of you who are not from Wellington, please say amen. amen. And so one time I'm with my kids. We come here, we visit my mom and dad, and we're off to Australia. And we're sitting at the airport on the runway in Wellington Airport. We're there. And it's raining, just normal Wellington weather, raining, windy. We're sitting there. It's been five minutes, 10 minutes. 15 minutes and the captain gets on and he says this is your captain speaking we're just waiting for the clouds to open up we're just waiting for the sun to give us a glimpse of how we can navigate through the storm but even though it might be two degrees here and windy and rainy I want to remind you that Brisbane is 28 degrees and a beautiful sky and so i just want to remind you here today we may be in this storm right now we may be in this place right now we may be sad right now but understand this is not where we're going to stay it may be raining it may be it may be storming right now we're crying but understand where god wants to take us is somewhere that's going to be very beautiful a place where we will say hello and never goodbye a place where eternity is not just with our loved ones, but eternity is with Jesus Christ. This is what we are looking forward to, church family. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen.
I'm going to ask that us all stand together as I pray. Father God, we just want to thank you, Lord, for being with us this evening. We thank you, Lord, for Phil's life and the testament that he was. We thank you, Lord, that we can look over all of his life and see your hand in every possible way how you have led him, allowed him to grow. And Father, the excitement that he had in his life of the possibilities and hope of a future. And Father, we know that the realities of life, we are here, where a time is given to be born and a time is given for death. And so we know, Lord, that we're in this season right now. But we know that with every season, seasons pass. And so as a family, as we have encouraged one another and lifted each other up this evening, we know that the only way to find strength is to find it through you. And so we pray, Lord, that you will strengthen us. Everyone who is here who has listened to Phil's life, I pray that they may take something that they can apply to their lives. And may they be able to live out with passion and conviction a life that you want them to live. Father, I pray that for the rest of this evening that you will go with us. It's been a time of reflection, but it's also been a time to challenge each and every one of us of where we stand in our relationship with you. And so we pray, Lord, that you will bless each individual as they leave this place, as they go home to their families, to their friends. And may they... Uh, vocalize and share just how much they love each other and if forgiveness lord needs to be done may that be part of the conversations this evening as well father we pray that you give us a good night's rest as we leave this place so that we can come back tomorrow lord in this final day here above the ground that we may also give you praise honor and glory and so be with us this evening we thank you we love you in jesus name amen Amen.